Well, just just talk about down the stretch. Um, Coach Jones said you guys really took it to them, especially late. Was that kind of a plan coming in, is to, to kind of attack the rim a little bit more? Yeah, um, I thought we could have definitely attacked their bigs on the ball screen. Their bigs, uh, you know, they weren't wasn't too really good in ball screen defense. So we try to take advantage of that late and late deep in the game. Boris, could you talk about starting and did you guys know with a bigger lineup? Um, coach wanted me to play a four spot because you know, talking about physicality, he wanted me to start the game at the four spot. You know, to be. Have it because they all had six ten players, and he just wanted to know more rebounding and more defense, and I had to work the uh, six ten players. How about the celebration with Coach Burrow's five hundred win? What does that mean to you guys? Me mean a lot. I mean, be, be a part of that. I think Coach um, uh, Persons, let's say, he said thirty years from now, I look back at the celebration, and not many people can be you know be able to be, a, be a, uh, like involved in that. And on the crunch time, you know, last. Last media timeout, it's kind of you guys on the floor. It's that group. It was kind of a different crunch time lineup. Did you, guys, did you guys kind of felt like you know you were going to get more minutes and you were going to be out there? No, nah, not really. Uh, I mean, it just kind of Adler just called my name to go in, and uh, you know that's what they do. They kind of you know pick who they want in at certain times, and uh, you know you just got to be ready for when they call your name. What's clicking with that group? Though? It's a veteran group. It's you and TJ and some other guys. It just seems like offensively, you guys are kind of clicking. Yeah, I think so. Just um, taking care of the ball, um, playing, you know, X and O's, and um, just being smart, smart with the ball, taking care of the ball, getting good shots. If any had a career high points, I think you made all your shots. What was it like to, to play such a key role in this game tonight? Uh, it was, I was glad I had the opportunity to help Coach Pearl get his 500 win. Uh, going in, we didn't emphasize that it was his 500, but we made sure we paid a lot of attention on defensive rebounding. So it was just a great opportunity. You need to shoot the ball more. You're shooting 60-something percent. You make all your shots tonight again. I just, I just shoot when they give it to me. I don't need to shoot anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Horace, talk, talk about playing four tonight. Did you feel comfortable out there? I'm going to be honest. I feel like I'm a natural four anyways. But, you know, I always play the five because how physical I am and you know, how strong I am. But I find playing a four was more natural because I'm more mobile than a five man. I can move faster, I'm faster on the ball, faster on the, on the wing, on the three point line, helping out guarding guards and guarding other bigs, like faster big and more like wing bigs. So I found it more natural to play the four position. Can anybody explain this team's foul shooting? Some nights it's hot, some nights it's really ugly. I mean. <laughs> well, uh, Coach Perry really emphasized getting to the gym after the Kentucky loss. So um, after the um, shoot around last night, he was like, make sure you get in the gym, get a couple hundred free throws up. I feel like we uh, we executed and we came back ready. Anthony, you're asking, we're asking Horace about playing four. About you playing five, you like that? Yeah, I like. I, um, I'm, I feel like I'm a physical player, so uh, playing at the five is really uh, a step back to high school where I used to play the five, and I feel like that's where I can um, be my most physical without getting in foul trouble, and uh, that's that's where I feel most comfortable. At. Did you think sooner or later they're gonna quit trying to lob over the top of it? <laughs> I hope so. No, well, I hope not. I get to keep getting steals. <laughs> It seems like you've been in the year of Austin ever since he's kind of gotten here. Um, did you notice a little bit difference in him tonight? A little bit more aggression, you know, a little more confidence. I mean, yeah, oh, he's way more aggressive, call for the ball, be more dominant. I always tell Austin every guy needs to be a beast and a monster down there. You're grown, like we're all grown, man. I don't want to hear no country 17, 18 years old. It don't mean nothing. I, I like, I like how he is. Developing really fast, and like I have, a, I have a big play in that. So does Coach Chuck. Just be in his ear, give him like you know, good encouragement. Tell him to let him know he belongs here, and like make make a statement that you belong here. Ronnie, do you enjoy being in there, clutch time at the end of the game, being a senior, just seeing calm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I like moments like that, and uh, you know, I just try to, you know, come out with the win, um, get my guys, everybody involved, and. Both on offensive end and defensive end. Well, a veteran guy, too. What have you seen out of this team the last three times out of in terms of this growth? You said the last three times out of the last three games? Um, I think we're uh, definitely starting to execute more on offense a little bit more. And uh, um, I think now our next step is um, defensive rebounding. And uh, I think once we take care of that, you know, the sky's the limit. For us and Anthony, Bruce said yesterday that he was kind of concerned about their length, especially defensively and, and down low. Um, 
but of course y'all were in double digits, Austin was in double digits, and, and all had pretty good rebounding nights. How were y'all able to be so successful against their two six ten guys in the other position? Well, I, like I said before, I mean, me and Anthony, we basically play the same. Like, we're both fast off, fast on our feet. We're both light. So I'm saying, you play a 2 6 10 player, then they can't move as fast as we can. So we can get to the ball faster. And he jumps from behind, being 6 8, 6 9. So he gets to the ball faster, a quick jump. And I'm going to be able to move, move around people and try to get in better rebound position. Yeah, I think using our quickness was a big advantage against those guys, even though we gave up uh, about 30 pounds, 3 or 4 inches. Uh, using our quickness to front the guy and, and relying on our backside help really will help us tonight. Okay. Right. Thanks, guys.